Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've done a budget. And uh, I'll be completely honest, I have not done a budget the entire year until now. So, no time like the present to finally get myself back on track and let's get to the budgeting. Okay, so this is the little pouch I use. Most of the items I'm gonna show you today are from Erin Condren. If they're not from Erin Condren, I'll let you know and I will put links down below if you guys are interested. I use an Erin Condren monthly deluxe or is it deluxe monthly? Um, let's see, monthly, deluxe monthly planner. That's what I use. Um, these do not come with little tabs, but here is April. And this is what I am going to be using for my budget. I like to use this page to um, put in my like incoming and outgoing. I will not be showing my incoming, but I will be showing my outgoing. So anyways, um, just a quick little flip through. This is April. I like to put on my little side notes if there's anything special that's coming up that I know about that I need to budget for for that specific month um, on these little tabs sheet things and this is also from Erin Condren. So anyway, let's move on to this. Also, for the monthly view, um, I did this in the past and um, I still would do it, but I'm not gonna be showing it online, is um, all of my, here I'll bust these out. These are from Coffee Break Planner and these are the Emily's budget bundle and there's like little icons for like gas, home, meals, car, pet, shopping, computer, like shopping, more shopping, um, phone, here's a planner, here's like a little cute little piggy friend, doctor. Um, so there's lots of different things in here. Oh, I might use this, I'll pull that one out. And then these are just red ones that say no spend. So anyways, um, these are available on Catherine's website over at Coffee Break Planner. There is, it's called an Emily's Budget Bundle and you kind of fill up your monthly view if that is more to your liking. So yeah, but let's get this party started. I did um, get these, I haven't used them yet obviously because I haven't budgeted this, this year yet, um, but these are from Erin Connors, the Petite Planner Budget Book Illustration Sticker Pack. So I'm gonna bust these open and use possibly some of these. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna use what I can. And I think there's two sheets. Yeah, there's two sheets in this um, pack, which is great. And then these are some of the monthly uh, sticker books that she has. This one specifically is the Monthly Collection Edition 2. I also have this one that's a little bit older. It's just called the Monthly Collection. I'm not even sure if this is on the website any longer, but um, I figured I might, might use some of these. Not really sure yet. So I just kind of like to bust out what I think I might use and then make a decision from there. I do like to use washi when I can on the top of my little page here, but I'm really not sure what to use. I have this bin of epic washi, of course, but um, why don't we use this one? Cause it's cute. I mean, they're all cute. Let's get real, but this one's kind of like, reminds me of Easter eggs in a weird way too. And it's got that same purpley theme. So why not? Oh, dang it. <laughs> I ripped the washi already. Yay, way to go, Emily. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'm a professional. Oh my gosh, I had my finger in the way. Whoops. And sometimes washi just does that. It just kind of rips on ya. That's okay. I have to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> And this upcoming month is kind of a basic month. I don't have any like specific expenses that are not normal expenses coming up. Um, I do have, um, I know some of you watch all my videos and some of you don't and that's okay, but just to let you guys know, I am currently unemployed. So um, I don't have like, I mean, I have health insurance, but I have to pay extra for it. And today is the day that I'm figuring out what I'm gonna pay for that insurance. So, eh, I'm not really sure. My insurance estimate right now is about 350. It's all based on your age now. So, I'm, 
I'm gonna call the state of Minnesota. They have this program called Minnesota Care. It's just like an individualized health insurance. And I'm gonna see what my rates would be doing that instead of COBRA with my previous employer, which is about that 350 range. So I'm gonna put an estimate in here for 350, but I just don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll figure that out when we get there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put April up at the top. Like this little April guy right here. April right there. And like, I'm a decorative planner, so if you guys don't wanna watch me decorate things and just wanna know a budget, I'm probably not the channel for you. But um, I don't know, I just want it to look pretty. You know, I'm just that person. So here we go, April, and we'll put in budget. April budget. And this is really cute. I didn't really even notice this, but it has like these little things that say bills on them. So that is kind of perfect for what I am doing right now. So we will put in bills. All right, so I do have some bills that are set and I have some bills that are not set. So let me zoom you guys in just a little bit more so you can see a little bit better, I think, hopefully. Um, so the ones that are estimates, I will tell you what they are. So let's go from there. So my mortgage is 451.38. That is set. I don't have to worry about that. My HOA, which is my homeowners association, that is a set price at 158 a month. And they take care of any exterior work, landscaping, snow removal, I don't know, that kind of stuff. My gas bill is actually set at $28. My gas bill does this weird thing where I think it's like every six months it recalibrates itself. So it just kind of like averages out for the year or whatever, or for the six month period. So before I think I was paying like $51 or something like that. And then it recalibrated and I just wasn't using as much gas as the previous homeowner. So, um, it recalibrated to 28 and then it'll recalibrate itself again. I also have a water softener rental. Um, it's from the company called Culligan and that's a set price. And that is $31 and 85 cents. And I know that some of you that watch Dave Ramsey, he says never to rent anything. However, my area for whatever reason has had many issues with its water and the water softening system here or the water like has gone out here at this location and these townhomes that I live in several times. Like I think the owner said, the owner that I bought this house from was the original owner. I think he said he had to replace it twice already. And this house was built in, I think 2004 or something. Like it's not that old. So there's something with the city water, which is an issue. So I would rather just rent it and know that if it does need to be replaced, that I can get it replaced, no problem. And they also come in and put more salt in it and like all that good stuff too. So anyway, that's my whole spiel on my water softener rental. All right, the my water and sewer bill from the city, this is an estimate, it's always different every time, but it's generally around the $55 mark. I'm gonna write estimate next to that. My electric bill is different every month and that estimate is about $75. And then I've got my garbage. It's like my trash and recycling. And that is the same every month at 70, or not 75, wow, $17.85. Ooh, could you imagine? That's like, that's like a little much. My cell phone bill is the same every month at $88.52. Also my cable slash internet from the same provider. And that's the same every month at $114.60. Auto insurance is $85.42. That is a set expense. Netflix is the same each month at $11.70. Five cents. I know that just went up. I think it was like ten dollars and something for a while, and then it went up to eleven seventy-five. I don't know. Whatever. I still watch it, so I still enjoy it, and I will enjoy it for the extra buck or whatever it is. And then my health insurance. I'm just gonna put an estimated three fifty because, again, like I said, I'm just not sure. So as for things that aren't like normal bills as I like to call them. Um, I will put those kind of down here. Actually, let's total this up first and then we'll go from there. Okay. 
All right, so the total for all of this would be $1,467.37. So on to the things that I don't have like a regular bill for, which would be like food, transportation, gas, you know, like all that kind of stuff. But I'm only gonna put in a couple of categories since like I said, I am currently not employed. So I'm definitely majorly watching my budget and I did a whole series, or actually I'm still filming a series in May. I'm sorry, not May, March. I knew it started with an M, right? Doing a whole no spend vlog. So I'm showing what I'm eating. I'm showing you where I'm going and doing things like that. Um, and just kind of trying to be budget conscious. And every single day I have a, like a running total of what I spent that day and then my total for the month. So it's just kind of a fun way to show you what I'm doing. So it's kind of like a vlog series. So I'm going to write down, so fuel for my car. Honestly, I'm not doing a ton of driving right now. So I'm just gonna estimate like $120. I don't think I'm gonna do much driving unless I get a job, obviously, but I just have not been utilizing my vehicle that much. And like grocery store food. Um, this past month, honestly, I have spent so little. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. I think I've spent less than $100. But um, this upcoming month, I'm going to be eating a little bit better because my body really needs it. So I think I'm going to estimate like $250 or so. Yeah, let's do $250. I'm not going to budget this month for any clothing because I don't need any. Um, I'm also not going to... This is what I would normally budget if I was like working consistently. Um, I would normally budget for clothing and also for like dining out. So I'm not going to budget anything for dining out right now. If something comes up, then yes, I can make a determination if I feel like that's important or not important. I'm just not sure where I'm going to stand on that at this point in the budget. Um, but yeah, so. So this total is $370. And these are typically things, the fuel I don't use as a cash envelope. Um, anyone that follows the Dave Ramsey plan will kind of know what that is. For grocery, I have done that in the past. I haven't really been really strict on it, but I do know how much I'm spending. Um, I usually like to utilize cash for things that I tend to overspend in, and grocery is definitely one of those items. So is dining out. So those are typically the two things that I have in my wallet, but since I've kind of been on a restrictive thing for the last month, um, I haven't been utilizing that just because I want to spend as little as possible. So I'm really clearing out my pantry and freezer and fridge and all of that good stuff. So that's something I might start doing again in April and just taking out 250 and then when it's gone, it's gone. So I'll put a little pencil right here cause it's super cute. So basically to run my life for one month is $1,837.37. And 37 cents. Um, so yeah, the only funny thing I have this month, which I normally consistently wouldn't have if I were working, would be that health insurance, which is that 350. Everything else is pretty normal. And then I would probably bump this up. So really the 350 would be kind of a wash because I would budget something for clothing and then also entertainment slash like eating out. So it kind of would wash itself out a little bit. So that is going to be it for my monthly budget for April, 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So sorry it's been so long since I've done a budget, but if you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. I'm gonna to try to make this more of a monthly thing. Also, if you guys have any other budgeting ideas for videos, um, post them down below. I love your feedback and I love ideas. I would love to get some ideas to see what you guys like and what kind of pertains to my life. Life. Um, maybe some like grocery hauls or cooking on a budget kind of videos. I'm kind of toying with doing something like that upcoming in April sometime when I'm like off of the no spend where I can show some like fresh fruits and vegetables and you know like what I like to make. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I'd be really interested. So anyway, I'm going to jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.